another eight Eslis will try to qualify for the next round. So then the second of the two women's 400 meter hurdles races out on the track and here the fastest women in the heats will go in lane five. Ayamid Fororunso, and that will certainly get the uh, home crowd going. So then from the outside, Marlene Santos. 19 years old, youngest in the field. Ida Shimonic of Croatia. Ukraine. Ukraine's Maria Mykolenko. Second fastest. Only the Italian went faster than her in the heats. And here she is. Foloronso will be looking to continue that on. She's got a good lane draw, obviously, from that fast time earlier. South Africa's Rogel Joseph. In lane three, representing Germany. And in lane three, the German Jamila Böhm. She who is one to watch out for. She was the fifth quickest in the uh, heats that took place yesterday. And Daniela Rojas Guterres from Costa Rica is in lane two. And on the inside is Adrita Islami from North Macedonia. Foronso ran 56-2-3 to be the fastest through to this stage. Only her and... Maria Miklenko went underneath 57 seconds. Same rules apply. First three through to the final, which takes place tomorrow, accompanied by the two fastest losers. So away we go then. It's an even start so far as they head towards the first hurdle. They all rise together at the moment. And now a little bit of a move on from the South Africa, Joseph, in lane four. She has just gone up a little bit on uh, Fororunso, who's getting a big cheer as she goes down that back straight. Those two rising together as they hit the 250 metre mark. And now the Italian beginning to open up and the South African is going backwards. Polorunso really moving on the pace now. Going past the Ukrainian. Mikolenko, don't forget, was the woman who was the quickest with her coming through to these heats, but the Italian is in charge. Nothing the others can do about the 22-year-old who is coming away. The Ukrainian Mikolenko, not surprisingly, coming with her. But the woman who was a bronze medalist indoors at the Europeans over the relay earlier this year comes across the line to win it easily in 55.41. Marge is half a second quicker than Amelie Uel won the first heat in. Two fastest losers from that first heat, Daniela Ledechka and uh, Genevieve Cowie. 56.95 and 57.91. Damila uh, Boom of Germany is confirmed as the third place finisher behind the two front runners, for Lorenzo and Mikolenko. We're just waiting for the uh, others to come along, which of course are as important. So then, fourth is uh, Joseph in 57.34 and Marlene de Santos 57.99. So that means that the Santos doesn't get through. And uh, it looks like Rogel Joseph will go through as one of the two fastest losers, and so too will Daniela Ledechka. Well, they, uh, an item like this, a champions always need some home success we saw it on this day two years ago in Chinese Taipei where they won the hundred meters and it really lit 
the touch paper. We had brilliant crowds for the rest of the week as the uh, Taiwanese came in their droves. If an Italian can come through and win something, then maybe we'll see the same thing here in Naples. Very fine run, and Foloronso living up to her favourite billing at the moment. She's a woman who's been to the Olympic Games, which the semi-finals in Rio, World Championships the same in London, and uh, she comes through here, 55-4-1, ahead of Maria Mikolenko and Jamila Berm, with uh, Joseph, 57 Three, four, which uh, will be enough to put her through. Marlena Dos Santos, though, will not make it through with that 57.99 clotting. So, final takes place tomorrow at 6.30, local time, Central European time, that is. 